Thanks for joining us today as we continue our out-of-the-box implementation series for Odoo 16. In our last video, we configured the settings for our inventory module, set up the warehouse, activated pre-configured routes, and created storage locations within Odoo. Today we're going to talk about product configuration and management. We will be setting up product categories, defining product attributes, and finally adding our products to our Odoo instance. To begin, we'll start by defining our product categories. Doing this will help us with a couple of things. First, we'll be able to define the default income and expense accounts. And second, this will help us to organize and manage our products in an effective way. So for example, this is really helpful when we're searching for a particular product in the system, we can filter it by category. So let's go to inventory now, and we're gonna go up to configuration and down to product categories. Here we have a couple of product categories that have already been defined um, out of the box, expenses, saleable, saleable POS. Um, you'll notice that they all have the parent-child relationship showing their hierarchy. We're gonna go ahead and add a couple of uh, categories under the all saleable. So let's go to create. And the first one we're gonna do is for goods. And the parent-child category will be identified as all saleable. And then the account properties are defined here. We're gonna leave it as is. And we're gonna change it, the costing method to automated and under first in, first out. So we'll create a new one, um, giving us a blank form. And we're gonna do one for services. Now the parent category again will be all saleable, but in this situation, we're gonna change the account properties. We're gonna change the income account from product sales to other income. So we'll note that. And then inventory evaluation, there's nothing to do here because it is a service and there's nothing to inventory. So we'll save that. And with the product categories updated, we're gonna move on to getting the products into the database and all goods and services are going to be uploaded into our inventory. But before we can complete this task, we will need to discuss the concept of variants and attributes. Variants are used to describe products that have different characteristics. So for example, we have a blue aluminum lamp that is 14 inches. We might also have a lamp of the same size and material that is green. Attributes are the values that are assigned to the characteristics and must be defined before you can set up product variants within Odoo. Now, Odoo's concept of variants and attributes will be used when we're adding our shampoo and conditioner to our system. So first we need to configure our attributes. We'll go to the attributes section under the configuration and we're gonna choose the create button and we're gonna create two, one for size and one for scent. Uh, our display type will be select and these are gonna be created uh, instantly. So we'll add our uh, characteristics or our values. Six ounces um, is one, and then we also have our 14 ounce bottle. So we've got those in there. We're gonna click save, and we're ready to create our next attribute, which will be sent. So again, same display type, same variant creation mode. Our values here are fresh pine, as well as peppermint. So we'll get those into the system and then we'll be ready to move to the product form. Saving that. Okay, going over to products and we are ready to create. So here is our product form. Um, this is where everything is going to pull from in the system. All of the information will be here. This is our shampoo we're gonna create and it is marked as can be sold because it's sold to our customers and can be purchased, meaning we're getting it from a vendor. So we're going to click on storable product as opposed to a consumable or a service. And then since we're retail, our invoicing policy is to actually invoice based on ordered quantities as opposed to delivered quantities or after it ships. Uh, our sales price will be noted here as well. We're gonna mark down $12. And while we would add the cost normally, since this is a variant, um, it will not be on this, but on the variant product level. So this is the main product form. We'll change the product category here to all saleable goods. Um, and that looks good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our image for our shampoo. 
All right, and so you can add one or multiple images um, that can be done on another page. Now we're ready to add our attributes or variants. So the first being size, which is six ounces, and then we also have the 14 ounces. So these are the values we can select when we're creating um, the product on our quotes and such. And um, then we have our scent for peppermint and fresh pine. We'll save that. And now you'll see that the configure button has become active. So we're going to configure the size um, because we're actually going to be adding uh, a value to the 14 ounce. So we're going to add extra price, extra cost onto the 14 ounce. So it's an extra $4 um, added to its base price, which is on the product form. We'll go ahead and go back to the product variant values. Um, and you'll see now that it has been added. Going back to shampoo product form using the breadcrumbs, we can see that that is good to go. Now there's no additional cost associated with the scent, so we'll, we're good. As sales, this is where we can activate our available in POS. We're also going to move over to our purchase. Now, this is where we need to put in our product variants um, and the cost for each variant. So the shampoo six ounce fresh pine is three dollars um, so all of our six ounces are three dollars and then when we get to our 14 ounces we're going to change our price here um, which is our cost from our vendor and that looks good our vendor bills will be based on received quantities so we'll pay our bills when they um, are in our inventory we'll click on replenish to order so this is a purchasing route um, and that will help us along the way. And we are actually going to track by lots, um, specifically with the expiration date. Um, shampoo does expire, so we want to make sure that we're keeping our s shelves nice. So we'll get an alert date 90 days before the expiration date is due, which will be tracked in our lots. So that'll come for us to go in and do an inventory um, review. Then we can also add any descriptions uh, below. Then we'll go to accounting. This is all going to be pulled from the product category level. So that's already set up, um, but you could specify something different if you wanted to do so here. Now, you'll also see that under our product variants, we have four variants here in the smart buttons. So we can go to those and you can see that they have all been created. Going back to it, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for our conditioner. So we'll get everything updated, updated on this product form um, with a little bit of speed. And then we'll be ready to go ahead and move on to actually importing products. All right, that looks great. So now for importing products, we'll go to favorites, import. Now Odoo has a import template that we use to kind of pull the information, kind of guideline of what we need to get started. I've already created our import template for ourselves and my products for the um, storable products as well as our services. It's got the information I want in my system. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload my file All right, now we're going to test it to see that everything has what it needs. Now down here, we need to create new values for this. This is related to our taxes. So we're going to test it, make sure it looks good. Everything is valid. We'll go ahead and import it. And now you can see we've quickly imported 13 new records. Our products are here as well as our services. We're going to jump into our service just to check it out. So we have our hot shave. It's marked as can be sold, not purchased because it is a service under product type. Invoiced on ordered quantities. Our sales price here is in there. Our internal reference for our point of sale system. No attributes or variants, but we can see it's available in our POS. Counting looks good. Now we go back to our products and just like that, we've got everything updated in our system and we're ready to move forward. Now that's all for us today. Um, if you'd like to know more about Odoo and how Confiance can help you digitally transform your business, contact us at sales at confianceit.com or call 704-214-4622, extension 403.